Hey guys, Shane here with Figutech 3D Printing, and today we're going to go through part one of me building my workbench PC. So welcome back guys. So we're here in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and narrate you through a okay time lapse. I don't really know how it turned out yet because I haven't looked at it yet. But so it's my first attempt at doing like a while I work on something time lapse. I haven't I've only done them on the printers. I've never done it up with like myself and things I'm doing. So it might not turn out that great. But hey, it's the first shot. It's things for me to learn. I'm going to do eventually multiple camera angles. But this was just shot with my GoPro in time lapse every 10 seconds to give us oh eight or 10 minutes of a time lapse. So I might speed that up a little bit. But we'll see how it goes. Anyway, so this is where I ended up here with the build and it came out really good. I'm happy with where I'm at. A few missing pieces. I need to get a SSD for the boot drive. I haven't decided on how I'm going to actually water cool the system. Obviously the graphics cards are not going to be because they look totally boss without any water cooling on them and you can't get water cooling cards for these. I'm also unsure if I'm going to keep the RAM block on here or not. They are quite old and there's a bit of uh, wear and tear on them. So I'm not sure, again, might use them, might not, but they might not even be worth using anymore. So I might end up just cooling my CPU with a triple radiator right here, 360. So that's three 120 millimeter fans on it, which gives us 360 millimeters of cooling. Well, 360 by 120 millimeters is the size of the radiator. Okay, so let's go on a journey. Enjoy the time lapse, and I'll see you guys right afterwards. Welcome back again, guys. So that was the time lapse again. Uh, it's not the best thing that I could have done, but it's where to start. You have to start somewhere to learn, and I'm gonna learn from this, and hopefully the next ones will be better than that. I will say I did forget half the time that I was doing a time lapse because I'm very used to doing these, just doing them and taking pictures for build logs. I used to do a lot of PC modding back in the day several years ago, but I've kind of screwed away from that just a bit simply because doing that is extremely expensive and keeping up with it and keeping up with some of the people that are doing mods, I just can't do anymore. So now, like I said, this is just kind of seeing how people like other content here on the channel. This is all related still to my 3D printing projects that I do here on the channel. And I wanted to add in some of the other little projects that I do, you know, the light you know, doing the light panels is one of my little projects. This is another one of my little projects. So little things here and there will come up. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And as I said, it came out pretty well. I was a little disappointed in the directions for the Core P3 chassis that came from Thermaltake. In the very beginning, they give you a layout of all the different screws and everything that comes with the system and what they're used for. And you then need to figure out which ones you need to use per each little picture in the build guide on their little, the little manual. It's like a little 20 page manual, very small, very simple to understand, but it was again, a little hard to figure out exactly which screws I needed to use, which for on what they wanted. I could generally figure it out if it fits, it doesn't, if they're too long, too short, but there's a lot of different ones in there for a lot of different things. So be sure that you look over the little table that they have at the beginning of their guide on what's used for what. So you guys can see here, my graphics cards are mounted vertically instead of horizontally, like you would expect them to plug straight into the board. I'm achieving this by using some PCIe risers and they're powered 16X risers. So I'm getting the full performance out of both my graphics cards, which are in Crossfire or will be in Crossfire. They're not even formatted yet, nothing's ready to go. But I thought the case was supposed to come with at least one of them. Thankfully, 
I had done mining a few years ago, and again, these were some of my cards that I used to mine with, and I still have the risers from that. So I ended up using those instead. They worked out, it wasn't a problem in the end, but again, I really thought that it came with at least one of them, and I was hoping for a black one. These are have like a blue tape on them. I might end up like retaping them or something just to hide them a little bit more because from this angle, you guys can't see it, but if you're anywhere else, you can see it plain as day, and it just hurts my eyes, so I might change that up a little bit. Other than that, this was a fun build. This case is extremely sturdy. I really like it. It's it's crazy that you fit everything here in this you know inch and a half here in the back. Excellent space for cable management. So the next video you guys are gonna see, I'm gonna introduce you into the water cooling parts I'm gonna put in this build. I'm then gonna do a water cooling installation video. So that'll be part two and part three. Part four is going to be mounting this. So this is a TV wall mount that a lot of people recommended using this for. It's very small, very compact, but it's going to be very strong. My walls are concrete, so I can just slap this thing up anywhere I want to without a problem. I have some nice big anchors to throw into it, make sure it doesn't come down because this is going to have some weight on it once you get all the water cooling on it. And this is, again, this is the P3. So imagine the water cooling you can do on the P5 or P7. The 7 has like these wings that come off to the side and that's just a lot of weight. So if you're gonna be doing anything like that, please make sure you guys are doing following the proper methods to mount this to your wall. Use studs, if you're using concrete, make sure you use some heavy duty concrete anchors and do everything correctly. If you need help, please reach out to one of your friends because I'd hate to see this come down on somebody and ruin your desk or even hurt you because if this falls, you're gonna get hurt. So please be careful. So that's you know part two, part three, part four of this build guide. Part five, I don't know if there will be. After mounting it, that might be as far as this goes. This is gonna be again a lengthy process over the next two to three months that I'm working on this. I'm still waiting for, again, a few parts to come in. I have to get another SSD for this. I think I have all the water cooling parts. I'm gonna crowd all that together, make sure I have everything to make the video, and then I'll do that soon. And you'll see that come out in the next few weeks or a week, it depends again. Depends on the schedule, what all I'm filming, other reviews I'm doing, vlogs, and things like that. So it will be out soon. So please stay tuned to this little mini series that I'm doing on building this. And that's gonna be it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like seeing things like this on the channel, please like the video. If you don't and you wanna keep this thing strictly 3D printing or you just think that that I shouldn't be doing these kind of videos, hit that dislike button and leave me a comment down below. I really want to hear from you guys. If you want to help out the channel, subscribe down below, hit the bell icon, that way you get an email anytime I upload content and you'll be one of the first ones to know that it hit the street. Other ways you guys support me, there's a Patreon link down below. Donate me a dollar more, I greatly appreciate it. All the funds go to making content for the channel. My current Patreons, thank you for your support. Other ways you can support me for free, it's down below, there's lots of affiliate links. Go ahead, update your bookmarks, do your daily shopping on Amazon or eBay, Banggood, anything like that. Use those bookmarks and a little bit of that comes back to me to help buy things for the channel. That wraps it up guys. Thanks for tuning in and as always, happy printing.